Hi guys. I thought she was going to start saying, but obviously not. Oh, I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your that's, recipe. That's why we cut your thumbs in my way. That's right, you shouldn't be looking at that. You need to be looking in here. <laughs> hey. Okay, I'll turn it around. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Bake. Uh, today, we're going to be making a... No, oh, he's looking at the no, script. Just making sure it's in shot. A jam roly poly. Uh, I have had trouble, obviously, getting hold of some of the ingredients for this. Um, but I put a little twist to it. Uh, as obviously, a jam roly poly is is like a steam pudding. We don't want to spend hours, even in lockdown, doing steam pudding. So we are going to be changing it up. Hope you enjoy this video. It's getting close. Or close. No, it's because you keep Hope looking you at the wrong place. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, um, so yeah, um, we went shopping last week and we still, luckily we were right for flour, but you're still struggling to get flour, eggs, and actually we managed for the first time in how many weeks, we managed to get suet. Yeah. Which we haven't been able to get out for ages. Done some shopping Friday with my for my sister and she wanted eggs and we still couldn't get her eggs. But luckily we know someone that has chickens. Yes. That we can get eggs. <laughs> but flour <laughs> we're alright at the minute, but yeah. we should be able to get hold of it if we need yeah, it to. Yeah, because I I can actually get it in a Bulk a bag, bulk, yeah, bulk bag. So yeah. I'm quite lucky like that. Um, and we have been busy. That's yeah. Busy. If you're if you're wondering why we're standing this side of the cooker, and actually, oh, not over there, is actually because we're starting to decorate the kitchen. <laughs> um, we obviously last 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 time I put a video up um, was Sunday which was like two weeks before I ever put a last video up and that's because I had trouble uploading it but I've managed to sort that out and we've also been decorating the kitchen basically the cupboards look at these cupboards now because in the next video they probably won't be like that some of them have already changed I don't know if you see a little glimpse when I swing around then uh, but we've also changed the we've read the tiles in the background and this is new as well, you've probably already seen that little checkered plate in there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just basically crack on with the video now. Got you guys, get you guys set up on the tripod, yeah? Yeah, are you? And then you can start your video. I cooking? Yeah, you're cooking. If it's you your like, video. you can always get um, someone else to cook for you and enjoy. Alright, so, here we go. I have uh, self-raised and flour, I will leave what I'm using down below shredded suet and this is, if you haven't seen it, this is suet and it's like a, a beef fat really uh, I was going to make it a different way um, but I've managed to get hold of this now I have a tablespoon of caster sugar you can use any sugar. And with this, I've actually got a uh, whole, whole, zest of a lemon. whole zest of a lemon. Um, so I'm twisting it up a little bit. I'm just going to mix that lemon in my sugar. <coughs> you don't have to put the lemon in it. but Right. I have my jam. I have water and milk so into my bowl I'm just going to put my flour doesn't matter what way you put it in my suet and my lemon zest and sugar so mix that in a bit together Let's cooperate around at all. Mmm, you can smell that lemon. Yeah. 
What I'm going to do is I've got, I think it's 50 grab, but I will leave it, of 50 milk, mil, yeah. 50 mils of milk, 50 mils of cold water. And I'm just going to mix them two together. And pour that into, I might even use a spoon to start with so that... I don't get too messed up mm. but it is one of the recipes that you need to go in with your hands and I'm just going to make a dough with this and bring it all together sticky. It will go. Might need a little bit more. <coughs> oh, I'm not happy with that so I'm going to put a little bit more yeah, just add it if you need it, really. To that. Because you can, if it's not enough, just add it little bit by little bit. Well, have I got about, uh, about two, two tablespoons, yeah. about two tablespoons of milk here. Also, at this stage, you want to preheat your ovens to um, gas mark six, 200 Celsius, and I think that's about 180 Fahrenheit in fan. Let's say it's not supposed to be, um, you know, a solid dough, uh, a squidgy dough. I'm just gonna move that so that I can then tip that out like that. And then I'm gonna just knead that together for a little bit. You may need a bit of flour on your ball to for this. Just get a tiny bit. It's kind of funny actually because anyone would think you'd be making like cheese scones yeah. rather than a cake. <laughs> Put a little bit down to flour my surface because I'm sticking. Now, now I'm just gonna knead it a little bit. That's all. If you can, it'd be good if you could um, leave it in. The fridge. In, put it now into a bowl, put it into the fridge for about half hour. It just give it chance to have a rest. Put some bits together. That's fine, it's gonna go anyway. Um I ain't got my rolling pin. I'm not ready, as you can see, we're locked down crazy. <coughs> and then I'm just going to roll it out. Roll it out. Did it as much as a. But like I say, you can. Um... Let me put that over there, the way.
so I want this to be So it's nice shape. About eight inches wide that way. Yeah. That'll do. Let's say this pitch that bit back together. It starts going. It hasn't got to be perfect. Mm -hmm. No. It hasn't got to be perfect square. Look, because you're only going to roll it up and eat it. We're not chefs, we're bakers. Um, I'm just going to see what I've got just to place it on. I'm looking for about eight. Make sure it fits on your tray. It's a yep. good start. About ten. That's about what I want. It's just over. That's fine. Just big enough for the tray. Yeah. Well, it could go. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want our pancake. <laughs> Beautiful. You want this? No, I'm going to put my jam. On there. Now, I'm going to start with that in when that's got a fault in it. I've got five tablespoons, six, six tablespoons of jam here. I don't know if I'm going to use it all, but. Yeah, we'll slap it on there. Mm. Chunky. Chunky jam. Oh, that needs must. Whole strawberries in that bad boy. It's a bit. I'm going to use all six. Yeah. Was meant to be five, but I don't do odd numbers. Well, you can use four to six, but I'm going for six. Now. Well, that looks nice. Shame it's raw. Oh, see, I'm leaving a gap around the edge. She's got to roll it. She's got to roll it. What, you roll it at this stage already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, you could leave it in the no, no, no. fridge to let your pastry. Oh, no, I thought that. That's half hour too much. Have a rest. We don't do that in this house. We don't have patience. And oh, I don't know. We just want to taste the food and show you guys that watch our videos. Thank you ever so much. Also, thank you to all the new subscribers. Over four and a half hundred views, uh, subscribers. Uh, I've just got a little bit of milk. And all I'm going to do is just brush that. Along the edge. Your brush is falling apart. Um, yeah. <laughs> just going to have to brush that. Back little. time we brought a new one, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got so many brushes, I just grabbed one. There. 
Also, I've got the jam right on the end of that. So. Use out. I could yes, even. Uh, I'm just gonna roll that. There's no, you know, fancy way. Spread that along a bit. There you go. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put that on that yeah, end. Maybe a little bit of less jam, but yeah. But oh, that's all right. I should have put it right up the end. But, you know, that's how you do a jam roly poly. It doesn't matter if that jam comes out, it's all part of it. I hope this comes out better than you look, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> right, I am over here. Well, it's not what you do it, babe, dear. I've got a greased, a buttered, I've put butter on it. Baking sheet. Baking sheet. And all I'm going to do is transfer that to there. And roll it up. That will come out at the end. And you want to do is bring these together and just do a little fold over the tops of them. Uh, you can keep your gum folded that way. Yeah, just so that. Or you can come back on yourself. Basically, just scrunch it up. No. They're like a little pleat on the top. But give that room. And then the ends. Which you can tie these. I'm just going to twist the ends off. If you got lost like I did within the first second, basically you just scrunch the end up, twist the sides. I pleated it a little bit, you want it loose, you don't want it tight, it wants but, to be able to expand. Yep, you could do that if you scrunch it too. Can I have my piece of foil please? And then all I'm going to do is pop it in the foil. <coughs> Excuse cool. me. This, this is like fault knots just to get into your pie. And I'm just going to turn the foil over. I'm going to leave expanding room and scrunch them corners right up. Also, this, this was requested by we best say by Andrew, loving life, Mallorca. Now, like I said, it's slightly different on the grounds that I've put a bit of lemon in it. And I'm not going to be doing a steam, which basically is, people call them bambarese, oh. so it's basically like you do with chocolate, it's a pot with water underneath it. So I'm using my um, cooling rack, cooling rack, one of my cooling racks, and a roasting tip, and a roasting tip, because <laughs> this one fits on this tin. And then I'm just going to fill that up. Improvise. Oh. Yeah, improvise. <coughs> Excuse me. Then that goes in the oven for about 30 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, you want that steamy. About halfway. Yeah. About halfway. Overfill it because we don't want it to boil over. Yeah. That is going to go onto there. Straight and under that is there. Sit straight on top of there. Into the oven. And I'm going to put it in the oven. Might take that rack out. Look, are you ready? And it's going to go in the oven now. We've put yep. the cake on, filled it out with water. Try not Ooh. to burn yourself. It's best yeah. if you put that in the oven first and then pop that on the top. But, you know. I'm a bit. How long is it? Uh, about half hour. And that is going to take roughly about half an hour. Oh, okay. see you in half hour. Hi, um, welcome back to Crazy Bake. So, I've done it. It's almost. 
because I've put it out onto a plate. Uh, I was like, how am I going to get it off? So I undone the foil. I put a plate on top of it and tipped it over. And then I tipped it back up the other way. But just to show you how the top had gone. And that's, it did split at the top. Obviously, you could leave it that side. Oops, I'm wrecking it. It's because it's hot. It's because it's very hot. And I've just cut this one, so. So I just chop the end off. Mm. There we go. Jam roly poly. Yum. Look at that. Did split on the top, but who cares? You're only yeah, going to eat it. Yeah, you time you buried it in custard. Get a fork and try it. Yeah, I'm not going to notice. Like I said, I left it for the 30. Um, maybe it could have done with a little bit longer. If you want it more browner, I guess. Uh, so maybe like 35 minutes. It is cooked. I've already tried it. Uh, it is like <laughs> pudding anyway. It's not meant to be like a cake. Nope. It's meant to be that bit doughy-fied. Because it's classed as a pudding. Mm. It's got big chunks of strawberry in it. Mm. Oops. What's in this jam in there? Hmm. Mm. Lovely. Um, there you have it. Mmm. Nice and soft, delicious, that. There. With a hint of lemon in it. Yep. There we go. Obviously, mm. there's more jam as you go in. Also, as well, what, what people have to remember is it's going to make it more doughy because basically you've put a liquid in there, which is jam. Yeah. It's going to boil up. And because it is a suet pudding yeah. um, but it, it's Oops. a good way <laughs> I've seen the cupboards now <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way of doing it without spending an hour and a half to two hours basically boiling a pudding you can see the cupboards now so let's give it away so it don't really matter <laughs> <laughs> there you go There's the kitchen cupboards from that to that. A lot of hard work sanding them down. But yeah, we're getting there. Yes. <laughs> Once it's all, it should all be finished soon. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. I hope you're enjoying what time you're having. I hope you're not going too tur crazy. Um, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on so we get notified whenever we upload. Yes. Bye.